find the vertex. The vertex, that's a maximum. So we're trying to illustrate the equation in vertex form. We're trying to get an equation in the form y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k, where your vertex is going to be hk. This is all from last year, but it's also the test that everyone struggled with last year. So let's go over it very carefully. Write down the whole problem, please. Okay, first of all, when an area is going to be enclosed by 400 meters, what does enclosed mean? Am I referring to area or am I referring to perimeter? Perimeter, perimeter because I'm talking about the outer edge of that field. This is the perimeter. So even though the question is asking me to find the maximum area, this is why so many people have trouble with this problem, and because you have to actually express the question in terms of perimeter first. So a rectangle, what's the equation for the perimeter of a rectangle? 2L plus 2L plus 2W, two lengths, two widths gives me a rectangle. Is equal to my is equal to 400 meters because that is my perimeter. You always start with the perimeter formula when you're given a similar question like this. The next thing I'm going to do two to 400. I want to simplify this equation, so I'm going to divide both my left hand side and my right hand side by two. So I'm working with smaller numbers. So I have L plus W is equal to 200. Next thing I'm going to do is choose a variable to isolate. It really doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose to isolate my length. Okay, so I want to express length in terms of width. So if I keep the L on the left hand side, L is equal to 200 hundred minus W. L is equal to 200 minus W. That is all I have to do to deal with my perimeter. Now I'm going to move to the second part of the question, which is asking me to solve for the area. The area is equal to length times width. But if I want to keep the problem like this, I'm not going to be able to solve it because there are two unknowns, two different types of letters. So what I'm going to do is in my typical area question, I'm going to substitute my L and I'm going to express length in terms of W. So I'm going to substitute 200 minus W for my L. So we can rewrite this question as 200 minus W times W. And when you do that, you get 200 minus W, oh sorry, 200 W minus W squared, or we can rearrange it so I have negative W squared plus 200 W. So now I finally have a question that I can try to complete the square with. This is the equation that I'm going to try to transform into vertex form, ax minus h squared plus k. Okay? So remember, because this was a long time ago, I want you to watch this very carefully. If my equation is negative w squared plus 200w, and I'm trying to get it to vertex form, first of all, there can never be a number in front of the x or the w or whatever it is. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 and take the negative 1 on the outside. So on the inside of the equation, 
I'm left with W squared minus 200W. This becomes my B value. So remember last year, we always figured out B divided by 2 and then B divided by 2 squared. Remember this from last year? So if I use positive 200 and I didn't take the negative 1 out, you would totally get a different answer. So you have to make sure to always factor whatever is in front of the x squared. You have to factor it out before you can do these steps, okay? So b divided by 2, that's simply going to be equal to negative 200 divided by 2, which gives me negative 100. b over 2 squared is just negative 100 squared, which gives me positive 10,000. And remember, the bigger number, this positive 10,000, that's what we're going to plug into the equation first. So I'm going to split my equation into two teams. This, the first part of the vertex, that's going to be one team. Everything on this side, that's going to be a whole different team. Okay, let's do this as easily as I can. W squared minus 200W. Remember, this is team A, this is team B. I'm going to take the positive 10,000 and I'm going to give it to this team because I like this team better. So I'm going to give it to team A. I have to do the opposite of addition to team B, which is subtraction. I have to take away 10,000 from team B. However, this is like a scale, so whatever I do to one side has to be balanced by the other side. This is already balanced, the positive and the negative. However, I have to take into consideration this negative 1. At first, I divided both sides by negative 1. Now I have to do the opposite. I have to multiply this side of the equation by negative 1 as well. So negative 10,000 times negative 1 gives you positive 10,000 and team A remains the same. It's a complete equation. Okay. My next step is to, I have to get it into vertex form. So I have to take this perfect square binomial and I have to factor it. I have to kind of compress it to its simplest form. And remember, I already used the b over 2 squared, so I don't need this anymore. This negative 100 is what my perfect square trinomial compresses to w minus 100 squared. But I can't rem I forget the negative that's in front of there. I have to remember all the pieces of the puzzle is equal to positive 10,000. So this is vertex form. If I needed to draw this and draw the quadratic expression, the vertex, when w is equal to 100, the maximum area would be 10,000. Okay? This 10,000 is the maximum area because it's referring to my vertex. And notice, even though it's negative 100 inside, the answer is positive 100. It's always the opposite sign, okay? So if W is equal to 100, that's not enough. They're asking me to solve for the dimensions. That means I have to solve for L as well. And if we go back to the previous slide, remember L is equal to 200 minus W. So L is equal to 200 minus W. L is equal to 200 minus 100, which also gives us 100. So even though it said it was a rectangular field, the dimensions are 100 by 100. It's actually a square. But anything is rectangular can be either a rectangle or a square, okay, as long as it has the same properties. 